My name is Joanna Emery and I'm painting a piano for a wedding. I started off by having the piano tuner take the piano apart and I primed it. I used a water-based primer first and then I found that whoever had the piano before us used something to mark on the piano to touch it up and it ended up shining through the primer. So I ended up doing two more coats of oil-based primer. Um, so I sanded uh, in between each coat and it's smooth as a baby's butt at this point. Uh, the professional way to do it would be to spray paint it, but I'm not a refinisher, I'm an artist. So this is how it goes. Next, I use latex water-based paint uh, to paint the sides and then I used a projector to put the pattern on the piano. The bride wants the ladies to come in and, and have a hand on this piano, have a hand in painting, so they're going to fill in these colors down here that I traced and then I'll go over it and touch up anything that needs to be done. Here's a picture of the colors the color palette for the piano, the colors and, and things that the bride likes so that I could get an idea of, of her style. The pattern you see right here is on the groomsmen's ties, so we're going to repeat that on the piano. Here's the design I came up with. She's in London, so I had to uh, put it on the computer and email it to her, so we've been going back and forth that way hard to not be face to face to get a real good idea of what she wants, but it's going really well so far. Here are my supplies. I use lots of paper towels, rags. This is the transparency of the design I made. Got it printed at a copy shop, put it on my projector, and projected it onto the bottom of the piano. I use Sharpie oil-based paints to outline it. When you use these, shake them really well, but always, always test them uh, first. Otherwise, they might explode or bleed, which obviously is not good for your artwork. I got these jars to put the paint in. Oops. Uh, that way we can cover them up and not waste the paint because I have so many different colors. I used a roller for parts of the piano, used a brush for the majority of it. This is blue tape. Um, I actually don't recommend it. Never works out for me, no matter what technique I use. I just like to use a steady hand and draw a straight line with my paintbrush. This is a kneaded eraser. You can stretch it. Good to take the pencil lines off the piano. This is a really good suggestion I have to use Glad Press and Seal multi-purpose sealing wrap, saran wrap in other words, but it sticks. You just, you just take a piece off and you stick it. That way you can go back to your paint the next day. It lasts several days. I, I wrap up my paint brushes with it. It's perfect. You don't have to rinse everything out every single time. I love it. It's Glad Press and Seal. They should pay me for advertising. That's it for now. I'll update the piano as we get further along on the painting. Goodbye.